It was 69. I'd been trying to get a job in film. Um, I landed in photography. I'd done a year. I knew Diddley Squit. B.P. Fallon, who was a journalist, a rock journalist, a friend of mine, he got this gig doing The Stones for Melody Maker. Um, and he asked me if I'd come and do it. Mick Taylor had just joined because Brian Jones had died. He just sat with his head in the amplifier, and so it was really impossible to get a, a decent group shot. They didn't want me there. I mean, I was a real, I was a terrible inconvenience. I had to creep round and get Mick Taylor, and I think that's, I'm pretty sure that was the one that they printed of him. Melody Maker needed the pictures first thing on Monday morning, and I couldn't find any labs that were open over the weekend. So I had to process them myself, and I didn't really know how to process. So, you know, I was in there shaking and dunking, and I had no idea, really, when to take these pictures out. All the negs were a little bit under. They were a little bit flat. I was delighted that it was done, but I, I did realise, particularly when they said these are really hard to print, that I hadn't done a masterful piece of work. It was several years later, actually, when I looked through them again, and I just thought it's, I like his, you know, contemplation. Well, I'm sure it wasn't contemplation, but I just like that rather distant look there. I love it.